What is your NSFW fun fact about yourself? I once had to go to the hospital for what was diagnosed as a post hog smick migraine. My pee turns toilets purple. It was the freakiest thing when it started happening and my doctor couldn't figure out what was happening. I would use a toilet and then a few hours later brownish spots would appear and those spots would eventually turn a purplish color. My wife and I figured it had to be something to do with my medication because it only started happening when I switched to new meds. Eventually. After a lot of research. We found a paper in a medical journal that mentioned that in very rare cases the urine of patients who took my medication would have had interactions with various household cleaners. That interaction can happen on the film of cleaning solution residue on toilets and turn brown. Red or even purple. My testicles are drastically different sizes. Like a golf ball and a macadamia nut. Edit. I appreciate the concern but nothing to worry about. They've been like that as long as I can remember. I saw a doctor when I was a teenager and he said there was likely an injury to the smaller one causing the larger one to grow extra for it during puberty. Girlfriend got a DLDO with a suction cup and we were fooling around and I stuck it to my forehead. I was a DLDO unicorn for about 30 seconds. Took it off. And the look of horror from her said it all. I had a giant purple bruise on my forehead. Couldn't find a good excuse so I called out of work the next day and learned how to do makeup. Don't be a DLDO unicorn. The former prime minister, Teosich, of Ireland has touched my penis. In a medical context. Of course. Edit. Well. This blew up. Thanks for the awards. Whoa. For context. This was about 12 or 13 years ago when he was doing his GP placement in my local practice. I needed something checked out and as I had worked in that practice doing archive filing during the summer as a kid. And my mam also worked there as a secretary, Ireland is tiny. I didn't want to go one of the regular docs as they all knew me. So I went to him. He then referred me to a specialist, who, again coincidentally, happened to be my best mate's father. I then had surgery twice after that to fix the issue. What I will say about him is that. While I. Like most Irish people have a number of things relating to his politics that I'm not a fan of. I will say that he was especially kind to my mam after my dad had a severe heart attack a few years ago. And that counts for a lot for me. I don't know if this is NSFW but when I was born my penis was so crooked they had to completely rearrange it in surgery. They said that if it was left as it was my dick would point at a 60 or so degree angle to the left and that urinating would have been quite the task. I have breast implants from having breast cancer. They get cold and it's built in air conditioning. Username checks out. Thanks to an autoimmune disease. My dick is a couple of different colors. No other part of my body has been affected. Just my dick. Whenever I go pee. I just. Like a scratch or you got a little pube comb with you? At the height of experiencing prolonged concussion symptoms. I am sturbated and felt a jolt, like a shock of electricity, travel up my body to the part of my brain where a light fixture fell on my head. My symptoms instantly subsided. Put head someone's brain damage away on your Tinder bio. An ant bit my testicles once while I was having sex at a hiking trail. In case anyone is wondering. It was awful. Why were you having sex with an ant? I got circumcised at 25 after slicing my foreskin and a vasectomy at 30. My frank and beans hate me. I once was the dude the lesbian chick had sex with who upon having sex with me decided she does in fact like girls. I take this as both a compliment and an insult. I use my right hand for everything. Except for masturbating. I just can't with my right hand. My dad was having sx with a hospital nurse while my mom was giving birth to me. That's long been used for the many fights and reasons my mom hates men. This is insanely edged up. Smoking killed my libido so I killed two birds with one stone and quit for good by rubbing one out each time I got a craving. Like multiple times a day. Especially at work. 
10 stroke 10 would recommend. It bends to the right. Mine to the left. Edit. The most upvoted and awarded comment of my life is about my dick bend. On occasion my dreams are so vivid that I mistake them as reality. And only realize it's not so after I wake up. The rare times when I have the urge to pee in the morning after stupidly drinking liters of water before I sleep. My dreams shift to being in the toilet where I pee. My brain and body get synchronized to my dream and I end up eyeing in my pants. Weird ass embarrassing experience and I'm in my 20s. Probably a consequence of stress. I have two assholes. Update. I am sorry to those of you that feel misled. The second hole above my anus is inactive. There has been an inquisition or interrogation into my anuses or neonuses no idea how to pluralize it. Second one isn't an anus it's a hole in the crack of my ass that serves no purpose. One person suggested smuggling but it would need to have very high cost to density to make sense. Anyway thanks for the interest. Whoa 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 don't talk about your kids like that. My picture was published in Playboy magazine. I can Jedi mind trick myself to come with no physical contact. I once realigned the lower spine of a girl I had been seeing by. Well. Doggy style. She had been plagued by lower back and tailbone issues for months until that fateful day. She thanked me for my services and needless to say. My dick is now a licensed chiropractor. I don't have a gag reflex. Same. I got a strep test yesterday and didn't gag. The nurse commented on it and joked I must have been popular in college. Also. Can you put weird stuff in your throat like knives or spoons? I once spied on someone jerking off in the nearby stall at a mall toilet room. That was. An experience but I really don't want to repeat it. I'm several months out from the last time I had sex. I had a checkup recently and had a blood pressure cuff strapped around my wrist. When it squeezed my wrist. I immediately got pretty turned on. Apparently I miss physical contact. My dick is. It is. I open NSFW posts at work. Due to an error in the hospital system that happened when I was born. Okay Kuma. For a little while back in 2015 to 2016. I was dating a very high libido woman and we drank a lot. Ed like rabbits. A few weeks go by. And when we would have sx. I would come blood, well. Very bloody come. This happened for a couple months. Pretty gross. We wondered if my kidneys were failing. Was my bladder messed and leaking? So many questions for a couple months. We broke up and after only a few days. I no longer had blood in my cum. Turns out. We were having too rough sx too often. And the constant pounding was rupturing blood vessels in my penis. And we never rested long enough to let them fully heal. The blood pressure in my penis during sx. Coupled with the abuse. Was filling my urethra with blood. Moral of the story. Too hard for too long and too often. You can break your dick. Edit. Amazing that this is the most popular post I've ever put out there. Not sure how to feel about that lol. Double edit. I learned some of us men get harder than normal. And that makes this affliction more likely. Slept with a very quiet guy. Finished. Thought he did shortly after and was like that was totally better than the first time and we cleaned up and passed out. Found out the next morning that he absolutely had not finished. Whoops. Total sweetheart though. Just never thought that as a woman I would finish and my FWB wouldn't. Edit. No. You guys. I didn't even give the man a chance to finish. I thought he was done so I hopped off when apparently we were just doing a position change. He was too awkward to bring up that he wasn't done yet. I've faked an orgasm before and I'm a dude. I've had SX more often in groups than one on one. Theater kid. Huh. I was about 13 and came home from a boy scout camping trip to discover there was a tick on the underside of my dick shaft. Even though you learn about how to handle them in boy scouts I nevertheless freaked out because there was a tick on my goddamn dick. I asked my dad for help and he carefully used the match head trick to get rid of it.
Cut to 20 plus years later and my parents. A bunch of friends. A couple of parents of those friends and I are at a pizza place playing trivia. Numbing some czar. And drinking. My dad is a lightweight and got pretty drunk. No idea how he got to the topic but he's telling another parent that I was well endowed. The table was quiet when he said this so all 10 plus people heard. I can only recall the tick tick debacle as the sole point where he ever would have seen anything. It was I'm embarrassing. I should have just left the tick alone and died in peace with my penis parasite. You've heard of elf on a shelf. Get ready for. I'm an example that the birth control pill isn't always effective. I lost my virginity to the wife of my boss at the time. I was 18 and working at McDonald's and I found out my ex-GF from 8th grade, she was 2 years older than me, was married to my shift manager at the restaurant. They were fighting at the time and when we hooked up I had no idea she was married to my boss until after it happened. Later found out he had cheated on her so it was one big game I got caught in. They later divorced. SX was good at least. At that age I was just trying to lose my virginity before college but looking back it was probably a dumb move. I found out the hard way that I can fit my hand in my ass. After losing an L beads during SX. I used to fantasize about women before I knew I was B and before I knew what SX was. I would fantasize about holding them down and tickling them and it made me feel good but I didn't know why. Clicked years later that I just like women lol. I have actually been jerking off to cartoons when I was like a small kid without even realizing it. Boy was I in for a realization like a decade later. I've had my foot in a PSSY. Puss and boot. When flaxed. I can pull the head of my penis back inside of itself. I'm cut. I've honestly never asked anyone if they can do it. So it might just be a normal dick function. I can also pop both testicles back up inside myself. So if I do it all at once. I've got an empty sack dangling under an inside out dick until I let go. The thing with the balls is actually part of how drag queens tuck their stuff. So hey you're halfway there. Yano. HM. Well it was that one time I had sex. Condom bit tight. Went in and felt something snap. Not painful but strange. Then it felt wet. I pulled out and took off the condom to be greeted with blood and the girl got a lot of blood on her face, somehow. I nearly passed out. Dick broken for two weeks. Won't redo. My last Hesul encounter involved me riding a guy who slapped me. So I slapped him back and we were slapping each other for a good 5 more seconds until he came really hard. It was I'm hot. I joined the Mile High Club about 15 years ago. PBH. Outside of bragging rights it's not really that fun. Edit. The wholesome award. Really? Edit too. You i weirdos. I love you all. How quickly did you save the hostage? This will probably get lost in the comments but one time I was absolutely hammered getting a blowjob and I accidentally peed in the girl's mouth. I'll admit. Not my finest moment. Edit. Okay just to reiterate this was not on purpose you weird ass. If I am stubborn and then go into the shower and let the warm water hit the penis tip. It'll have a second orgasm but instead of semen it's urine. Someone tell me I'm not alone. Once I reached my hand down the back of my pants to spread my butt cheeks apart to muffle the sound of a fart. I didn't want the chick I was hanging out with to hear it. I in my hand. The first time I fingered a girl was during midnight mass on Christmas Eve in a Catholic church. Edit and thanks for all the upvotes haha. Since so many are after the lurid details here they are. I'm a bloke. Sorry about the username. Which I am now stuck with. We were 14. And were in a church group for young people that I had joined to meet girls basically. Not being remotely religious and attending an all boys high school and. Well. Being 14. We were in the pews in a huge church. Which was packed. It was night time and the lights were down because there was some sort of nativity show going on. No one seemed to have noticed. 
One of my mates on the other side of her told me a couple of weeks later that he had been playing with her tits, which as I recall were ample, at the same time. Though I have no way of knowing whether that was true or not. Edit 2. 5000 upvotes for fingering an underage girl in church. Y'all are all going to hell with me. My man. I have a noticeable birthmark on the shaft of my penis. It's a large spot on top that has a line the whole way around. I even won a contest with it once as a teenager because it was unique and more impressive than a bare bland one. Edit. Since people are asking I'll explain the contest. Basically when I was 18 some friends and I were hanging out at his place the girls 5 of them were joking with us about who's the bravest. One of us guys 4 of us. Joked about being willing to bear all more or less which prompted the girls coming up with a contest on who had the most impressive cock. So we agreed and one by one dropped out pants I did not win in size. Came in second there. But all TGE girls seemed fascinated with my birthmark and pretty much agreed it was why I won overall because they had never seen anything like it before. There were other things like general shape and stuff but it more or less won me the contest. When my mother was still pregnant with me and they were getting an ultrasound. They mistook me for a female cause my penis was so large that they mistook it for an arm. Edit. People keep saying that my parents were expecting a three-armed child but according to them they just missed one of my arms. Not really sure how considering it's a rather large appendage compared to the rest of the body but oh well. Me and my girlfriend lived in a student apartment complex some time ago. Before we moved out. We went ahead and banged on all eight floors of the building. In the elevator. The laundry room. The stairway. The gym. The mirrors were great here. The common room. And multiple balconies etc. My girlfriend even got totally naked for a few of the sessions. We did it at 2am on a Sunday night and got back to our own apartment at like 3. 30am. We didn't get caught. I think. Long time ago. I was working late one night. All by myself. Small company. I reached behind an open server and touched the power supply by accident, while it was still plugged in, and had a very shocking experience. I had to lie down on the floor for about 20 minutes before regaining my strength to get back up and go home. Never did that again. I changed a light bulb on my office while standing on a wheelchair and almost fell. My first under the clothes Ezul experience was getting blown by two female friends simultaneously. At the age of 13. I then proceeded to not have a single Ezul encounter with anyone until the age of 19. It ate me up. I like to collect vintage Absuka Pirinography, nothing illegal. The more niche the better. I don't even go back and look who's at it all that often. It's really just something of an interest. Like in 30 Rock when Alec Baldwin's character mentions his collection of vintage French Pirinography. I just nodded to myself and thought seems right. My dick curves to the side like a banana. I had SX in a very expensive stolen car. I didn't know it was stolen at the time. My buddy worked at a car dealer and said they were allowed to borrow the cars after hours but. When we saw a cop afterwards. Screamed get out get out and we left and ran down the Embarcadero. For about a month. I worried that the cops would find me due to my fingerprints being all over the place but that was when I was young and thought cops actually cared about that kind of stuff. I use a menstruation cup. I empty it into the loo or sink if the sink is closed. In my former apartment. The sink was conveniently directly next to the loo so I did the latter. The sink was not properly connected to the wastewater piping so I used sink water. Which contained water. Soap and periodically a little bit of uterus lining in my case. Seeped into the floor and thus ceiling of the cellar. I lived there one year before they figured the problem out. The cellar ended up having a slightly reddish. 2-3 square meter stain from the iron in my red blood cells. I saw it growing while I lived there. But only realized that was me after I learned about the piping problem shortly before moving out. Banged my college gf in public a few times. She got off on it. And being in my early 20s. I was horny and did not care. 
sucked my own dick twice when I was a teenager. First time was awesome. Second time just felt like sucking a dick. I've since grown to like dick but can't reach anymore. Realistically I'm probably just less flexible but honestly I think my dick was bigger at 18. I just got a huge pimple on my dick. My ass is covered in small scars. I hooked up with this girl and ended up staying over. Woke up in the middle of the night needing to pee. I'd had a few to drink and was naked. I had to pass through her living room to get to the bathroom. As I tiptoed my way through the living room I trod on her sleeping cat. Cat screams and scratches me. I panic and stumble as first through a small glass table. I had about 20 cuts in my ass. Blood everywhere and of course just to round things off I had right then and there. Needless to say the girl woke up to a traumatized cat. A destroyed coffee table and a living room covered in and blood. I left very shortly afterwards and was not surprised to find myself blocked instantly. But I still carry the scars to this day. I'm OSHA 30 certified. So I know all about things not safe for work. I choked on her after 8. Almost passed out while running around in the storage room at work. Trying to find a place to Heimlich myself. That was really stressing. I've given multiple blowjobs where the guy blacks out. Always says it's the best experience of their life. Friends make lots of jokes about me sucking the life out of them. Caught my dick in my zipper as a young boy. Now have a piercing under the head, nothing in it. I claim to beat my dick like it owes me money. But the truth is. I beat it like it stole something. Despite the fact that I'm only willing to date and marry women. I'm be curious because I like to read gay PRN. I survived being shocked at work and unconscious by myself in an R&D lab for 10 minutes. And tried not to tell anyone the next day because I also blew up 6k dollars of equipment. I was both a Ezul and non Ezul sugar baby for 3 years to different successful men. My username is accurate. Due to an honest and innocent mistake. The movie I fapped to the most in my early teens was Schindler's List. Stroke. I know how this sounds but read and you'll understand. I grew up poor and we only had 3 VHS tapes my aunt had gotten from Columbia House and had gifted my mom. One of which was Schindler's List. One day. My parents were watching it and I happened to walk by at the exact moment at the beginning of the movie where there's a SX scene and you see some black and white boobs. I didn't see or know anything else about the movie and I barely understood English at that age. I did make sure to memorize the timer on the VHS player so that later on I could put in the movie. Fast forward to that exact time. Do my teenage boy thing and rewind the tape and put it away. Only years later did I realize what the movie was actually about and I've been living in shame ever since. My big kink is lactation and I just wanna be in a relationship that involves adult nursing. My boyfriend made me all guess M11 times during SX one time. Most for us. So far. I can't tie my dick in a knot. I wish I can go back to 2 seconds ago when I didn't read that. I never am sturbated until after I had SX for the first time. So I'm kinda proud my first SZL activity was the Osirial thing. I've read so many comments now I forgot what the question was. The only time I've ever been slapped by a girl for offending her was mid SX after quoting Forrest Gump. She was a smoker. And I stopped kissing her to say she tastes like cigarettes in my best Forrest Gump impersonation. We were watching the movie. And she claimed to be a huge fan. I thought it would be funny. Ended up with a red hand print across my face for the remainder of the bang. I can fap simply by squishing my dick a lot. I was an online cam sx girl for a year whilst I was at university. I made lots of money and enjoyed regularly chatting with my regular fans. I have a tattoo of an upside down cross on my schwanz. I am a pretty normal looking 33 year old dude. I don't worship Satan or anything like that. Nobody will guess. I find my wife very SI and M stir but thinking about her. 
I have dick but tattooed on my butt. I've never had sex or even kissed anyone.